Hi everyone, Dan here again for GE Inspection Technologies. And today I'd like to do a quick video on uh, the subject of entering options codes in a USM Go or Go Plus or the DMS Go or Go Plus. Um, the process can be a little bit confusing, uh, so if I think the video is the easiest way to explain it. So for my uh, Go that I have here, I have a couple of options codes that I've gotten from the, the factory. Uh, very important that you give the, the serial number exactly as it appears on the configuration screen. So I'm going to do a long press to get to the back menus. I'm going to go to the config screens. I'm going to go to config 2 and go up to about and show. So the serial number that's in the instrument electronically that appears on the about screen, you have to give that when you place your order for any options, that serial number has to be given exactly as it appears here. If there's any mistakes there, the, the codes won't work. And we'll cover that again in a little bit. So I do to enter the code, um, I got a BEA option for my flaw detector for my USM Go. I'm going to go to con the config one back menu. And then I'm going to come up here to the to the code parameter on the menu. Press once to select it. And my code is EFF2BF. So if I go, I just need to start entering that. So there's E, F, and each one of the characters is hexadecimal. So it goes 0 through 9 and then A through F. So if you're on 0 and you want to get the F, one down click gets you an F. 2, B, and F. So my code from the factory was EFF. 2BF. So I got that. I'll click that to select. Then I come down to the confirm. I press the center stick to select confirm. And I have a message that says code valid, reboot instrument, double function key to confirm. And what that means is I need to press both of the function keys down here at the same time. So I can kind of press in the middle of that rocker. And I didn't quite get it the same. So I need to re-enter my code. So that's E, F, F, 2, B, F, confirm. And when I got it right, I got the two keys pressed equally. You notice the instrument rebooted. And that's a normal behavior. When it accepts the code and it's been confirmed with a double function key press, it'll reboot the instrument. It'll turn the instrument on. Okay, so now we'll go through and do the same thing for the DMS Go side of the instrument. Okay, so we boot into thickness gauge mode. And it works a little bit differently here. We're going to go to the config menu. Jeez. Okay, and then I go up to the code parameter. Having a little trouble with the joystick today. So I go right on the code parameter to get to the, the entry place here. My code for the, the thickness gauge side for DR manual option is EFF0FD. So I give it EFF0FD. Okay, so when I'm done, I have exit and confirm up here on these two function keys. So I've entered the code. I hit this button to confirm. 
and it says code is valid, reboot instrument needed, and if I uh, select OK, the instrument reboots back to the DMS Go side. Okay. So that's the, the basic procedure for entering the codes. It's a little different on the thickness gauge and the, the uh, flaw detector sides. On the flaw detector side, it's important to, uh, once you've entered the code, you go to the confirm parameter, select it, and to confirm, again, it's the double key press. You have to press both of these together or if you do it just right, you can push down in the middle and do the double key press that way. Okay. Now, one thing that can go wrong is if uh, when your order is placed, if there's a mistake made in the, the serial number, uh, and this can happen at the factory, the, the folks that generate these codes at the factory may make a mistake entering the serial number and generate an incorrect code for the instrument. These, uh, these codes are keyed to the serial number of the instrument. So, for instance, I picked up another USM Go, in this case a Go Plus. If I go in here and give it, say, the same code that I just used on that other instrument, E, F, F, 2, B, F. Okay, so that was a valid code on the other instrument. Here, though, it says invalid code, instrument serial number incorrect. Do that again so we can get a better look at it. Uh, okay. So the camera's not picking up very well on the, on the error message. It pops up at the top. But there is an error message, invalid code, instrument serial number mismatch. And what that means is there was a mistake generating the code. Um, the serial number was incorrect at some stage, and it's not going to work. In that case, you need to get a hold of tech support or uh, customer care to correct the mistake and get you a new code entered. Okay, so with that, uh, thank you for joining me today. Again, I'm Dan Groninger for GE Inspection Technologies, and thank you for joining me.